welcome to Project Library Planet. We're in Oslo, Norway, in an area called Furuset. And this is Stine, the leader of the Furuset uh, Library and Activity House. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you and nice being here, really. Thanks for coming. So, uh, this library looks brand new, is it? Yeah, that's true. We opened um, three months ago. This is not uh, your typical regular library. What we have here is we have uh, a library, a youth central, uh, and a volunteer central, mm -hmm. and also a cafe mixed together in this brand new house. Wow, it must be challenging to combine all the functions in the same building. Yeah, it's been challenging, but a lot of fun. We are now 23 people working here with uh, different backgrounds, different uh, uh, qualities, and uh, we have a lot of fun, but it's been hectic, really hectic. In what way? How many people come here every day? Uh, the old library that uh, was um, located in the first floor had around 600 people every day. Uh, wow. But after we opened, we now have uh, between 1,200 and 1,700 visitors every single day. That's crazy. It's not even such, such a big place. I know, so it's crowded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So all these people come here for a reason. What do they come here for? They come here for a lot of different reasons. Um, some come to study, to do their homework. Some come to visit the cafe, to eat lunch. Uh, some are maybe watching a movie, uh, taking a dance class, learning to how, how to speak Norwegian. Uh, but most of the people come here just to have a place to be. Mm -hmm. uh, either alone or just uh, or a place to be with friends, to meet new people. and. Uh, the social meeting place, it's the main key here. It's always been what's most important in this area. And you have a cafe in the library, that's a bit unusual. It might be unusual, but it was one of the greatest wishes from the people when we uh, worked with this project. So we knew that we had to have a cafe. And this cafe is part of our house uh, organization. We have uh, three people working here. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, in addition to them, we give young adults the possibility to work here to get some experience. They might have dropped out of school, they might not go to school or not work for different reasons. Mm -hmm. And they come here to us, work for maybe a month, maybe three months, uh, to get something on the resume and to give back. It smells it's, delicious. Yeah, we have uh, our leader of the cafe is from uh, France. We have mm. Italian kitchen chef. Wow. And we have uh, food, organic uh, local food from uh, yeah, different places. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Right. Um, could you tell us why you're here today? I'm here to grab my lunch. I usually come for um, having meetings or just eating, relaxing a little bit, try to get some space to focus. Do you come here often? Maybe three times a week. Yeah. Well, that, that's quite regularly. Yeah. Why? Is it a nice place to be? Yeah, you meet a lot of people that you, I, I work with or people I actually know from just the community. And I get to relax and uh, breathe a little bit in my work day. Yeah. Right. Do you have a favorite spot here in the building? Yeah, it's upstairs by the cafe where you can eat and try to work or relax. And here by the sofas, actually. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. Naturally. So, Stina, we're in the sound room now. What happens here? In the sound room we have it's possible for kids to get lectures from some of our house staff. Uh, we have recruited some local rappers. Wow. And that's working in this studio. Uh, and it's possible to book uh, like a class or an hour with them and they can record in the room um, behind us. They can learn how to write lyrics, they can learn how to express themselves and in return they give something back to us. So like uh, this summer uh, we're having this workshop uh, called uh, Summer Music Camp and then the kids will learn uh, during a week to write, to record and after when the, the summer when the school is st starting up we're having this party, back to school party and then the kids will perform 
mm -hmm. and to show the other kids what they have learned during the summer. Why have you decided to employ local rappers here? It's a strange decision, it might seem. We have decided to recruit locally because it's important for the kids in this area to have role models and to have grown-ups that they can look up to and relate to. And it's important for us that the kids get this uh, arena to learn how to express themselves and be proud and get confident and also to learn something that they can show others, show their parents, show their friends. So what does the library give to the community? It gives uh, back a lot, I will say. Uh, first and foremost, uh, this house isn't built by us, it's built by the community. It's been a project going on for a lot of years and a lot of uh, involvement from the users and from also the not users. And so this house is built after their wishes and what they want the house to be. And we have had a lot of meetings, a lot of interviews, talked to a lot of people. <laughs> and uh, everybody said that they wanted to have this meeting place this huge meeting place uh, for the whole borough, not just the Furuset, but the whole borough of Alna. And I wanted a place to come, to meet people, to express themselves, to also to give back to the community themselves. So having like a, a volunteer central here is really important to um, achieve that goal. Well, wow, there's a lot of bikes here. What, 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 why are they all here? We're actually starting to rent out bikes today. So uh, in a couple of hours we get uh, a visit from one of Oslo's council women mm -hmm. that's um, going to open this for us. So this is one of many activities that uh, we have to um, uh, challenge people to um, use the areas around us more mm -hmm. and to visit the nature and do stuff like that. talk to Helena, who is head of programming here at Furuset Library. Hello. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. And uh, could you please tell us uh, what programs you have for young people here? Mm. Well, um, young people are one of the biggest group that are visiting us. Uh, we've just had a um, survey and that showed that uh, the age group of say 15 to 25 are big user group of our library and activity house. And two times a week we have uh, special nights for uh, young people or youngsters. And they do everything from video games, playing pool, uh, football. Uh, and we have, um, we do have a, a different, different dance groups um, that we have ourselves uh, in charge of, and then we also have other that other groups that we, we don't really cooperate with them but we have uh, the rooms and the facilities and they come in and have their own dance groups. Mm -hmm. We're in the situation now where we're kind of debating amongst ourselves if we want to uh, most of all just be a, kind of a playground um, and, and be an open space where young people can come and do whatever they want or what kind of program we want to make for them or what kind of program they want us to make for them. Because it's a balance of uh, giving them the space and to both physically and kind of mentally to just be themselves and doing, we don't want to do t too much to, they need the, the kind of the free place to just do whatever they want but mm -hmm. we also need to develop some programs that are, uh, or activities that uh, will make them engaged. Right. And are you trying to uh, communicate with them on the in in, in other spheres? Uh, I don't know on the internet, maybe. Yeah, we do have um, the social media, of course, uh, Facebook. We just got an Instagram <laughs> account, so that's kind of new. Um, but also, seeing that this is the, our local community is is they are the ones that are visiting us, and they are the definitely most important group. So being a part of the community and getting to know other kind of leader figures 
in the youth uh, community and other kind of channels in the in in this area in particular. That's the most important for us, actually. Now we'll talk to Sara, who works here as a technical manager for projects for young people and children. Hello. Hello. Uh, thanks for talking to us. Can you please tell us about the area here? Uh, what's special about it? It's a lot of things that's very special about this area, but one of the main things is that it has a history uh, that uh, has been uh, uh, one, of the, one of the reasons why we have uh, this house today. because. Um, a couple of years ago, it's not a long time, it was, uh, it was a community that was characterized as a community where it was a lot of gangs and a high crime. Uh, so the district of, uh, of Alna here in Oslo went together with a lot of uh, institu institutions in the community and found out that oh they didn't have, uh, they didn't have anything for the youth, they didn't have activities for the youth. Uh, so we opened a youth center in Tudeset, uh, who are we are a part of this uh, this house here in uh, in Tudeset today, and it was uh, it has been some of the to have activities for the youth has been some of the main uh, things in the in the district because uh, that's the place where you prevent uh, prevent uh, crime. Right. So you're saying the library plays a large role in the well-being of the district. Uh, it has a lot of. Uh, it, it is an important uh, part of the well-being of the district, and uh, as we can see, it has a lot of people coming here, and uh, especially a lot of children and youth are using this place, and that shows that it is a huge um, demand uh, on places like this, who uh, who gathers the community, and we have uh, we have a positive thing in this community, and it's, it's like a, over, over 150 nations living in this community, wow. uh, and we have a lot of. Um, uh, people with minority backgrounds and we don't see it as a problem or as a challenge because uh, uh, they are living together peacefully and they are uh, making a culture in this place that we that we love in this place so uh, it has given us a lot and it also is the reason why we need a, such a culture placed in, uh, in Fubset because of the uh, population is, uh, is like how it is. Thank you very much, Sarah. That was really interesting and very important. Yeah, thank you very much.